Introducing GPT OSS. It's an open weights model from OpenAI. You can run the model locally like this. It's a mixture of experts model with 128,000 context window. It's available in two different versions, 120 billion and 20 billion. When compared with other O3, O4 model, this 120 billion is in par with the other models. With tools, it's getting higher accuracy compared to without tools, which means this has more agentic behavior. For other benchmarks such as AIME 2024-25, the accuracy is relatively similar. For PhD level science questions without tools, this one beats O3 mini. In function calling, it beats O4 mini. In this, we'll see a quick overview of the model, how you can install this locally on your computer and how you can integrate this with your own application. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. In regards to competition math, longer the chain of thought, the accuracy is higher. Even for PhD level science questions, longer the chain of thought, higher the accuracy. It has built in thinking mode. They have their own prompt format, which you can see here is open sourced. It's available in GitHub and here is how it looks. So generally a large language model will generate text like this and these information can be extracted or passed, such as the start and end of the response, start and end of the message, start and end of thinking. Here is another comparison. In artificialanalysis.ai, you can see the intelligence is in the top 10, considering this is an open weights model. Similarly for speed, it's next to Gemini 2.5 flash reasoning. And this has the lowest cost. Here is a comparison, GPT OSS, and this doesn't support image input, which means it's not multimodal. This model is now provided by many providers, such as Grok, Fireworks, Together and others. And the cost is very cheap. The 20 billion is much more cheaper. 0 0.05 cents for million input token and 0 0.20 cent for million output token. So that is the cheapest. And we are also going to try Grok towards the end. Next, we are going to see how you can install this locally. One of the main tool which I regularly use to run any model locally is Olama, which you can download from olama.ai. So after downloading, install that. And the application looks like this. So as soon as you type your question, it will automatically download the required model. That is, I chose 20B. You also have 120B, but my current spec is M2 Max 32 GB and 1 TB storage. So in that, I can see it's comfortably running. But when I try to integrate this with other application, sometimes my computer doesn't work fast. So you need much more powerful computer than this to get this run smoothly. There's another option to download. Go to your terminal. There you just type Olama run GPT OSS and that will automatically download the model and you can just try that. As simple as that. Next, I want to show you lmstudio.ai. So here you can download this application and GPT OSS is available. So click on download and install it. Here is the LM Studio application. Here you can search for more models in the discover tab. There I can see GPT OSS 20 billion. Here I can click and then I can download at the bottom, which I've already done that. So I can directly chat from here, choosing the model and then you can ask question and it thought for a few seconds and then here is the response. That is really nice. Finally, I want to show you how you can integrate this with other applications, such as Python application. In your terminal, pip install grok and I'm going to use this one. The reason why I'm using grok is because it's faster as well. So write essay about AI in thousand words. So here's the model I'm mentioning, GPT OSS 120B, reasoning effort medium and only this much amount of and you have successfully integrating this model with your Python application. And I'm going to run this, export your Grok API key like this. You can generate the API key from grok.com, then Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the response is getting generated and it's super fast. And I really like this. To create the user interface, I used Gradio, imported Gradio as GR, added the code inside this generate function. And I am adding this generate function to this parameter and adding three inputs. One is prompt input, then temperature, and then max token slider. And finally, an output box. So three different things. And demo.launch to launch the application. I'll put all this code in the description below. So now I'm going to run this. In your terminal, pip install Gradio to install the package, then python app.py and click enter. And here's the URL, going to open this. 
And here is the user interface. I'm going to click generate and you can see the speed in which the essay is getting generated. That is really nice. You can also fine tune this model and we've got the detailed code here and it's using Hugging Face. And if you want me to go in detail regarding this tutorial, do let me know in the comments below and I will create a dedicated video on how to fine tune this model. And the key three things which I like about this is its intelligence, speed, and also the price. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like GPT OSS, I also create another video about agentic rag, which I highly recommend for you to watch. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.